Vishal Sarkar here. I uh, want to talk to you about laziness. Uh, sometimes people ask me, Vishal, you know, how can I overcome my laziness? And by the way, these are people who are already successful in their life, in their profession. So they ask me this question, how do I overcome the laziness? Um, so th that has a different context than somebody who has not achieved anything and says that they have laziness, right? So I want to talk to you from the perspective of um, from, you know, within the context of somebody who's already successful, maybe you're making, you know, one lakh to five lakhs rupees a month in your in your job, or you're making between, you know, um, between ten to twenty-five lakhs rupees a month. It doesn't matter. What matters is there are two reasons why people become lazy. Uh, reason number one is you don't have exciting goals. So you need exciting goals, goals that jazz you up, um, that make you feel excited and emotional and powerful. Maybe it's about buying a new house or maybe it's about um, getting into a new shape in your, in your body. But whatever the thing is, you have to understand what goals excite you. And I'm not talking about just some smart goals, but the goals that are really yours, that are yours to choose, right? Uh, and when you have a set of, you know, five to seven goals every single year, what's going to happen is you're going to find a different level of fulfillment, a different level of power. So that's the first thing you require. A couple of years ago, I didn't even know how to be a good speaker. And today I am a powerful speaker because every sessions, every programs, your mentoring program, public speaking program, mastermind program, your one on one coaching program, every session, every experience has helped me to discover my true self and connect to my authentic self. And today I am a powerful speaker. And the second thing you require. So number one is you need exciting goals. And number two, inspiration to achieve the goals. Um, sometimes people are very good at writing goals and setting goals. And you will figure out that very, you know, very, very often people write down the almost the same goals every single year because they don't have the excitement to chase the goal. For example, I can write that I want to buy a house at Austin, Texas, <clears throat> or I want to get a, get a new home in Goa, or I want to take my, uh, 70 year old parents to Singapore where my parents you know wh whatever the thing is um, I can write so I have exciting goals but if I don't have the inspiration to chase those goals to achieve the goals very soon I'll become lazy again and then I'll say you know I write down the same goals every single year it doesn't make any sense so so that's my tip for you right now so get down some goals in the areas of your health um, your relationship your intimacy uh, if you're a father, you know, what kind of goals you can set as a father? Uh, if you're a mom, what kind of goals you can set as a mom? And don't just say, I want to be the best dad, but be more specific. Like, how will you know that you have become the best dad or not? Right? Uh, in your health, in your career, your money situation, your finances, uh, what kind of house you want? Right? And these are not always, um, you know, like one-year goals. I mean, you can set some, but what are the eventual goals that you have without fooling yourself you're not lying please don't don't lie when you're writing goals right uh, sometimes people say hey i want to make 2000 crore rupees in the next 12 months when their income right now is 10 lakhs rupees you know it's not going to happen most probably so write down goals that excite you that are beyond your comfort zone but at the same time that are very very uh, something that you know that if you upgrade yourself you can achieve okay that's my tip for you right now vishal sarkar here reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connections, yeah. Hey Vishal, thanks for the session on fearless communication in the mastermind group and encouraging me to take actions regarding my fears. In this video, I want to talk about all the actions that I've been taking to overcome my fears. At office, I had a candid discussion with one of the non-performing employees and had a good discussion with my manager regarding my development. Earlier, these were very uncomfortable topics for me. And also, I made better contributions in office meetings. Good evening, friends. Uh, Abhishek Jha, signing from Bombay. This is my fearless communication video. What, what a week. I mean, uh, you know, uh, looking at your innermost fears in its eyes and then deciding to confront it and conquer it. It has been a rock star of a week. I mean, I I stood up for a female colleague of mine. 
I finally went up and spoke to my super boss and I asked him, what's up? <laughs> what are you doing? I visited a dentist, uh, got a couple of my teeth fixed. I took my daughter out you know, on a Sunday morning in a crowded vegetable market and did some shopping like you know, I used to do, I used to do with my father when I was small. In my apartment complex, I never used to participate in community meetings and uh, I took first steps to participate in those meetings and it felt as if I am coming out of my hiding. My wife is a new driver and we took first steps to boost her confidence in her driving. Overall, uh, I, I believe I have made better progress at office, at home, in the personal front. Uh, at community etc and i believe that if i continue like this i'll be much more effective professionally at office and i will have better visibility at home uh, at personal front uh, i believe i'll have stronger relationships i'll be a better husband better father etc and i'll make better contributions in the community thanks for uh, pushing me to make all these positive changes, post adopt positive habits so that I can get out of my comfort zone. Thank you. I just say, you know, I just want to say that doing all these things, confronting my fears, I just felt so relaxed, so free, so inspired and so confident that I just can't fathom this feeling. Thank you very much, Vishal, for making me do this. And thank you very, very much for actually making us all realize the importance of conquering our own demons and doing this on a day to day basis. Thank you so much. And the plan for the